Okay, so I'm going to lift it up and take it that way. Okay, so I'm going to start with putting the, the feet on. Just going to wind down the retaining nut on all four. Oh. And I'm going to put the four feet on. So you've got two side frames, and as you can see, it goes into the middle hole. Just wind. Just wind it in. Okay, and same with this side. Again, middle hole. Same on this side. It'll be easier to lift it up flat like this. And then and the last one, again, middle hole. Okay. So this next part, you'll probably require two people. Okay, so we're gonna put this center support in first. And what you'll notice is that the bolts are captive. So we can, if I offer it up, Andy will go from the other side and find the hole. Got him. I'm going in, nip, then out uh, yeah. by two. So we'll leave it loose so it's easier to align the flatbed later on. So we move these two.
So again, we're leaving this slightly loose so that we can then get these other supports in and also we're gonna leave them slightly loose so we can then align the flatbed before we fully tighten it up. So just leaving them slightly loose, so we've got more play. Okay, so now we'll unpack the flatbed. Remove. The grey mat, place them out of the way. Okay, so we're going to have to remove the four feet. So if we gently move the head all the way to its stop, and then we're going to remove the green mat so it doesn't fall off. Place that over there. And then we'll tip the flatbed up on its side. Careful not to damage the head, that's it. And then we're then gonna remove the four feet. Okay, so now I'm going to lift the flatbed onto the frame, try and locate the feet. Right, I can feel that I'm on this side. Yeah? Okay. So at this stage, I think it's best if you get three people involved. So one on either end and one to do the screws, just because we don't want the unit to fall off. So if we get a smaller Allen key, we can then try and locate the holes a bit easier and get it lined up. And once we get once we get one in, there we go, and then we can do the same on this side. And then we'll just leave it and tighten them up once you've got all four in. Okay. And then the fourth one. Okay, so now we've tightened the unit to the frame. We can now go around and tighten up the frame and lock it up. Okay, yeah, solid. So now I'm going to move the head back. Okay, so we're going to now place the mat on. Just be careful that you don't hit the head as you slide it into place. And then you just push it down into the corners. It sits flush. Okay. So the next thing is we're going to connect the vacuum pump. You have your 
the control cable. So we're now going to add the, the silencer to the fan. It's probably easier if you tip the fan upright. And we're going to add a bit of grease to the thread. So you can use a bit of Vaseline or a bit of spray. And we're just going to smooth some round. It'll just help in case you ever need to take it off again. And then we'll offer up the silencer. And then just gently wind it in. So we're now going to lift the fan back down and then if we move it around to the side of the unit okay. and then if we have the, the hose and connector the connector screws into the side of the frame And the hose pushes on that end and then goes down into the back of the fan there. So we're going to connect the control cable. If we run it through, okay, so we're going to connect the control cable and that locates into that, push up and then twist to lock in place. Next we can get our power cables. We need two power cables, one for the fan unit and one for the flatbed. Okay, so the power cable pushes into there. You've then got your trip switch that needs to be in the upright position. And then we've got the power cable, okay, so the power cable plugs into there. We can then power on the flatbed. As you see, the light is on, but the screen's not started up, so it's more likely that your stop button's engaged. So as the flatbed boots up, it'll ask you to press enter. At this point, keep your hands clear of the carriage. It will just be going back to its home position. Okay, so in your accessories kit, it's gonna come with a USB connector, your blade tool, your pen calibration tool, your creasing tool, and then blades for your blade holder. You also get the USB Nano, which is for connecting the camera so that it can read your QR codes. So now that you've built your FB1150, you can now see the other videos for setting up the camera and calibrating your flatbed.